Good morning guys, it's your boy Amos aka Firekicks in the building and you are about to watch my journey to the Olympics to represent Pakistan. If you guys follow my Instagram and watch my YouTube, you guys know this time last year I was in Pakistan and this is the reason why I don't want to talk a lot. But in this video you guys will see the whole process, the qualification and everything I did. You guys will experience the ups and downs I had while I was in Pakistan. So without further ado, enjoy. So right now I am in the room uh, waiting to get my kit. Actually I didn't even tell you why I am here. I am here for the national games, trying to get in the national Pakistani team. So I can go ahead and go to Nepal, Olympics and everything like that. I want to show you guys this vibe right here the pakistan olympic association and islamabad olympic association i'm here for the 33rd national games at peshawar pakistan sports board so i am waiting for one of the coaches to come and then after that I'm gonna get all the travel arrangements and my uniform and as usual they are late they're about 53 minutes late so pakistan time is is universal and hectic literally after three hours we got our job done when i get home i'll show you guys everything that uh we got actually what i got super sick i'll explain everything later but i'm about to go home and it is raining man literally like i thought i was escaping rain but at least the weather's nice guys i am packing to go to peshawar and i wanted to show you guys this you guys don't know how much this means how big of a deal it is to you know be associated with this got an athlete got my gear got 33rd national peshawar games islamabad olympic association so it comes with a shirt pants and a jacket this is so dope anybody who's an athlete knows how much this gear means to people right here got this shirt man gear means everything this just shows you where you've been where you've come from and damn man I love it. Guys, it is early in the morning. I am on my way to Peshawar, Peshawar. So I am in Islamabad right now and Peshawar is two and a half hours away. I'm trying to get there for the opening ceremony on time. Um, the team left yesterday, but I thought it would just be way safer and much more comfortable if I just go with my uncle Imran Mamu. I'm wearing the nice jacket because you know I'm gonna be there for the opening ceremony. And we are getting the car checked just in case before this big drive that uh, everything goes well but I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. So guys, after running around Peshawar for like at least 30 to 45 minutes, navigation all messed up, I think we have made it, but we are 30 minutes late to the opening ceremony, so I don't know if we completely missed the opening ceremony or anything like that. I will find out. I gotta go present this card right now. ceremony right now. Damn, this is pretty dope. Look at it. Guys, this is so dope right now. Oh my god. Look. around the track right now I am with my team obviously I don't know a lot of people here but the environment it is absolutely jam-packed man oh my god look at this Pakistan, you know, Pakistan, and now, Muhammad. 
<laughs> oh god we uh, we just got back from the opening ceremony as you guys can see it was a lot of fun i got to go on the track and there was flags and the opening the the torches and the fireworks and the people flying down the parachute people it was definitely a really dope experience it is really 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 hot right now we are at our, our hotel right now i'm with imran mamu and um yeah just relaxing really need to just like relax the hotel is cool you got everything that you need um and yeah definitely just need to relax before my games and uh my competition because that's like key i'm not trying to go outside too much because i was outside all day and like i feel drained and the sun is really it's so hot my head is hurting and i just gotta you know stay hydrated so i'm waiting to get some food and i'll check in back with you guys later after you guys just saw the last clip um i got very sick that night and um we decided to go back to islamabad um and i uh, tried to take care of myself because i got very sick and i had to stay there for one more day and my uh competition would be on tuesday and that was sunday night and uh man this it really pissed me off i'm really annoyed i was good and just a day away from the competition I get sick like this has changed more f from a physical thing to now and it's a mental thing as well like I have to be locked in I work too damn hard all the way over here to get sick at the end in the last moment there's like no way like I feel like shit but there's no way I'm there's no way I worked way too damn hard way too hard to give up at this at the end but anyways i am back home in islamabad i have to drive three hours back to peshawar because it's a three hour drive so yesterday was a six hour drive today three hours there three hours back today i have to go back there because i need at least one night's rest because traveling there in a car in pakistan is very tiring on like the, i think that's what also made me sick as a travel but I gotta stay locked in, but I just want to keep you guys updated. Part of my journey, and um, I compete tomorrow, and I work my ass off for this. So, I'll let you know how it goes. I know we're going back and forth, but now I am back in Peshawar. We got the three-hour drive back. We are in our new hotel room. This one is much bigger than the one we had last time. There's a whole other section right here. But right now I am eating homemade food which is called kichiri. If you guys know what kichiri is, it's like when you're sick and when your stomach is hurting you eat kichiri. Your mom probably makes it for you so I don't want to risk it anymore because it already hurts and I'm already sick. So tomorrow is a big day so I want to make it as best as possible. So I'm eating food from back home I'm just going to try to get a good night's rest. It is finally now time. I've been up since 9 a.m. And the meet starts at 3. Well, the long jump starts at 3. So I've literally just been anxiously waiting this whole entire time. Just relaxing. Not doing much. But it's time for me to get ready and go ahead and go to the stadium. But I want to show you guys the fit. I'll show you guys the fit. I already showed you guys. This is the card that I have right here. This is a shirt that they gave me, um, this is a jacket, these are the pants, uh, there's also the kit right here as well, the, the sleeve, so this is definitely super sick, definitely a vibe, let's get it going. My heartbeat is getting a little fast, but your boy is all dressed up. They also gave me shoes to wear, but I am comfortable with the shoes that I've already had, so I'm just going to keep it consistent and comfortable, but anyways. Everything looks dope. Damn, it's time. Guys, it is now time for me to warm up. I got my bib for my jersey. 
And now I'm gonna be logging off, getting focused, getting my mind right. It's time to get a medal. Okay, so I was an idiot and didn't have anybody record my jumps or what happened at the end because I was just so focused on the match. Um, literally, I should have had given my camera to somebody or I could have recorded, but I was just I was just in the zone. I didn't want anything to distract me. So let me tell you guys what happened. So at the end, I made it to the final. I made the All Pakistan team. Made it to the next round. I even got paid for my performance. So that relinquishes my amateur status and pushes me to the pro status and I was supposed to go back to Pakistan later that year to finally qualify for the Pakistan team to make all my ends meet but then COVID happened and everything got turned around all the meets in Pakistan got cancelled the Olympics in Tokyo got cancelled everything just went downhill so fast forward this year the current time I am still training I'm still trying to maintain my body at the optimum level if you guys follow my Instagram you guys can see me always working out whether it's track whether it's weightlifting but this year I have faced many more challenges than the last because of COVID practice times are all messed up I can't practice with the team like we used to the weight room times are all messed up and even there has been personal things if you guys follow my Instagram you guys know that I was in the hospital in the ER for extreme kidney pain find out I had kidney stones uh, not only that I sprained my ankle really bad so this year mentally and physically has been much harder but it is nothing that I can't handle I am still excited to train I love training I still want to make it to the Olympics I still want to represent Pakistan we will see how things go with the whole COVID thing right now the meets at Pakistan have been canceled so I'm waiting for them to open up so I can go again and qualify once again I don't even know if the Olympics in Tokyo are going to be happening this year, but I will be trying my hardest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and follow my Instagram for up-to-date information. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And pray for me. I'm just trying to reach my dream and inshallah it happens. It's all about the process. Break down, break down. I don't want to break down.